become depressed and anxious. I'm gonna post these down below in the link. Now, if you're interested in some of the things that I use to help with depression and anxiety, and I'm gonna go through each one of these, uh, one a week for the next four weeks. But just a quick overview, the week one, I'm gonna focus on, uh, on journaling. The one thing you wanna do is get all of the junk that's in your head that you're repeating or something you're depressed or anxious about, your hopes, your goals, your dreams, something that happened to you, get it out of your head, write it down, because as soon as you get it out of your head, you don't have to continually think about it. You can focus on something else. So that's how I start my morning. I, you know, I think uh, Jordan Peterson, Tim Ferriss, they both say, you know, when you wake up, do something positive, make your bed. So I get up, I do that, have my morning routine, weigh myself, go to the bathroom, have my water, make my cup of coffee. And the first thing I do is I pull out my journal and my Bible. And I'll start writing down, you know, things that are in my mind, you know, goals I want to achieve. It just, whatever comes to my mind, I'll just write down, but I want to get it out of my head. In week two, I'm going to talk about the scorecards. You, it's really hard to know where you're going unless you're keeping track of what you've been doing. So week two, I'm going to talk about the scorecard. Now, some people call that a to-do list, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of the so-called to-do list. I, I like a scorecard, just like in the you know sporting event. We, if we never kept score at uh, you know football or basketball or the golf course, we wouldn't play. It's, uh, it's keeping score so we know how we're performing at any particular time that we know where to correct. You know, if in basketball, maybe we need to work on defense or our jump shot. In golf, maybe you need to focus on your short game or putting, but you keep score. That's how we know how we're doing. Uh, week three is going to be a little bit of an overlap with the physical side of things, and that's about the workout. You need to be doing something active. That's going to help you overcome depression and anxiety. When you get out of your head, you just go for a run, you go for a walk, you hit the gym, you do a group workout, you're around people, get your blood flowing, you sweat a little bit. That really goes a long, long way to eliminating depression and anxiety. And then week four, I'm going to talk about being still. Um, you know, big talk about meditation uh, these days, but it's really about just, just being still. You know, I just came back from this hike uh, 37 days up in the Upper Peninsula. I didn't have the distractions, you know, the cell phone and the, the media and the news reports and you know, all the other stuff that comes at us a million miles an hour. I was able to be alone and just be still, just being out in nature. And it was very therapeutic um, about getting clarity in my life and, and where I'm going to be going next. So that's going to be week four.